come down to city buildings and this is the first shop where my dad set up uh, James personal tailor and um, so his first shop was in Little Leave in 73 and then he moved to Manchester City Centre and this was the first shop that he had I think it was around like 77, 78 when he moved into his premises here. He took over an old tailor's uh, from a gentleman called Sam Goodall, uh, which was an established tailor's, uh, but he was retiring and then my dad managed to take over this spot. And he was here from about 77 uh, up to about 89 from memory. And then that's when he moved down to the Corn Exchange uh, building. And then he was there from 89 to 96. Well, this was the first spot in Manchester City Centre. He had a beautiful shop there. He had a really nice fronted slight cave in slightly. The doorway was slightly inward. And he had a really nice uh, display on here. And then uh, the next unit down, that was split into two. It was a very slim shop, which was a typewriter shop type ride to repair shop and then there's another shop I think it's like repairing vacuums or something really random um, anyway but my dad had this full this full sort of unit here and it did go back quite far he even had a very small mezzanine floor in the back of the shop where the sewing machine up in the uh, up, up there on the mezzanine he went through it was a beautiful shop he, he put parquet floor in it and it, it was beautiful it was really really nice but, um, but the building was really dilapidated and it was really like in bad shape and, um, and the landlord wasn't sure what to do with the building uh, and he wouldn't give my dad any more than a one year lease and my dad was really really nervous that the business was doing really well and he was really nervous that the landlord was just going to like kick him out one day so um, and he did feel a little bit out of town he wanted to get a bit more into the city centre and then when the shop at the car exchange come up for, for rent he went for that one and he expanded the business he had around about four staff here three or four staff here and then when he went to the card exchange he expanded the business and then he had about 10 staff in them days and he did he did all the alterations for all the shops in manchester there's about 38 shops he did uh, he did the alterations for back in the day marks and spencer's top shop top man uh, boss cheerio zero cecil g all of the top, all the shops in Manchester used to use my dad for alterations at the card exchange shop. And before, uh, before that, he obviously did alterations here, but he really ramped up the alteration side of the business. So basically, when he, when you went into the shop downstairs here and the other one was mainly for his bespoke customers, and my dad would look after them. And then the team he had working for him would look after the alteration side of the business, with a little bit mixed in with the bespoke side of things. So. There you have it, this was the first shop in Manchester City Centre, City Buildings. Nice to see the building still going and they've not knocked it down and, uh, and built some apartments. It's actually turned into a hotel and it has, it's still going.